Ah, it's a great day. Number 31, Vera Sarum Brandia. The subject today is the colors of fall. And it reminds me of growing up in Ohio, making a lot of leaves, being able to put them on the curb on the street and burn the leaves. Of course, we would cook weenies and uh, marshmallow. And of course, Halloween was a, one of my favorite. When the kids were young, I had a full head monkey mask, very realistic. And I would crouch behind the door. And when they would ring the bell, I would open the door and twist my head around. Well, I, I lost so many trick-or-treaters, I was unable to hand out much candy at all. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, our anniversary was a great month. It's October 22nd. 43 years of bliss married and 45 together. So, in the meantime, I've uh, sent Tonto on the trail of my horse, Silver. They're all lost, but I'm sure we're going to find them soon. At any rate, uh, stay tuned. Live from Cave Creek, Arizona, it's that painting show starring the Color Queen. Here's Betty. Hi, folks. I'm Beth Zink. Yes, it's Halloween, and I'm uh, some kind of uh, whatever. <laughs> nice costume. Oh, uh, or aren't you wearing a mask? Oh, all right. <laughs> you know, we're so used to masks. Isn't it crazy? Uh, Halloween, it used to be you'd wear a mask like one day a year, but now it's like... Whew. I think Come we'll on. call you Leaf Lady. Leaf Lady, yes, my garland. Leaf Lady. So as Ranger John told you, we are going to be... Uh, creating some colors of fall here. And before we do that, who is today's lucky duck? Here's Karen. Whoa. From Look out. All right. From Paradise Valley. Oh, Karen from Paradise Valley. She's one of my friends and students and she's I saw her this summer and she said, Hey Beth, I love your humor. You are making me laugh. Keep them going. Thanks, Karen. We will. So today I have these little fake pumpkins. You know, little decor items. And I thought, well, kind of be like a stump the teacher. Ranger John, uh, what colors do I use? To I make? know it's an orange. Well, they're they're yellow. all they're all variations of oranges and yeah. yellows. Red. I'll show you what I have on my palette. On my palette, I have cadmium red light, cadmium orange, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, titanium white, yeah, cadmium yellow yellow ochre, raw sienna, and a color that some of you may not be familiar with, which is wonderful for a brick color, whatever, and it's called Venetian red. And I think uh, I'm gonna be able to create all the colors of these pumpkins using this limited palette. And I all got them down, <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> ah, my wigs make me itch. <laughs> But I do it just for you. Okay. So, pumpkin number one. This is pumpkin number one right here. And I can see it has a, I didn't I actually didn't even bring out the green. Forget the green. We're just gonna do the part that is uh, on the upper part of the pumpkin. I'm gonna use raw sienna and yellow ochre. I'm trying to match that color right there at the top of the pumpkin. I did these drawings just in like a, a Sharpie, just because I'm trying to show you how I'm mixing the colors and you can see the combinations that I'm using. I'm 
We're gonna move down to a little bit of, I think more, oh yeah. This is that uh, Venetian red I was talking about. Venetian red with a little bit of cat orange in it. Beautiful. You know, once you get comfortable with mixing color, it's, it's easy peasy, but I know that for most of you, it's a challenge. Remember that book I told you about? I swear, I mean, I'm not, I don't get a royalty or anything, but Color Mixing for Artists is a great book for people that are trying to figure out how to mix colors. I'm glad I didn't have my mask on, Ranger John. I wouldn't Who are you? I don't know. I just some ridiculous. You are the uh, farmer's daughter? No, I was trying to be ridiculous for Halloween. What is your uh, best uh, memory as being a uh, Halloween costume wearing? Oh, I have a couple of them. One, I remember my mom uh, took a Long John's costume. It was light, light green, and she then dyed it with what's called rip dye, and she dyed it brown. And then she made me a monkey tail, and I had a monkey mask. But it was so freaking cold in Rhode Island on Halloween night that we had to wear coats over our costumes, so no one knew who we were. <laughs> but my mom liked to have us make a have a uh, a party at our house which I thought was cool in later years, like in high school. Our kids were, uh, or excuse me, our my friends would come over to our house and we'd have a, like a gathering, a party, and we'd duck for apples and do kind of really... Party. Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't exactly a party. You know, they think about partying, but yeah, it was... Uh, it was fun. This is uh, pumpkin number two, which I think is really more of yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, and even a touch of cadmium orange. So I think I got pretty close to that, but Looking good. You can you can judge for yourself. You know, play with that a little bit more. Maybe I have I might have a little bit too much um, white in it. Of course I have a white background so that's pumpkin number two pumpkin number three is more orange so I'm gonna go with a cat orange I'm gonna put a little touch I think a little bit of this um, cat yellow cat orange cat yellow cat orange there we go cat yellow cat orange plus a titch of white. Titch is not, is a technical term, right? And what is it? A it's dab? Like, it's like a pinch it's in a, like if you cook, it's a pinch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go with cad, orange, cad red, cad yellow, and burnt sienna. Close, getting close, aren't we? What really do you think? close, really close. You think Captain getting, getting close? Yeah, you're getting real close. And then where there are shadows, you'd use a little burnt sienna maybe, even a burnt umber uh, to get the shadows down here. I'm not gonna try to paint these pumpkins perfectly. I know that you're gonna tar get tired of watching these. <laughs> But yeah, they're good. Pumpkin number four. <laughs> number four. Oh, okay. This one is definitely. This looks like a pretzel. This is. Uh, I'm gonna say cadmium. I don't want to mix up too much color here. I'm gonna say cadmium orange and burnt sienna. White to make it opaque, okay? So you gotta have that white in there. You have to make uh, these translucent colors opaque. 
Sure, it's going to get a little bit lighter to start with, but you can always add another layer. Uh-huh. Right? See this right what's all. happening here? Right on. And see how they're just slightly different, but they are different. Now this particular little pumpkin has some highlights of yellow ochre with white. This paint probably won't be dry by the time I get around to our last pumpkin, but that's what I would done would have done. Yellow ochre and white with those little dots and streaks. No, it's good color. They're enough different, aren't they? Yeah, I, so. I uh I do like uh, one in four. So makes me hungry. <laughs> Feel <laughs> like eating pumpkins? Yeah, really. So I hope this is helpful. Cadmium yellow, cad orange, yellow ochre, cadmium red light. I don't know if we used it. Oh, yes, we did. Um, a burnt sienna, raw sienna, and alizarin crimson. And these are colors that you can use to create all the fall colors of leaves and whatever. More rusts and browns. You can go with burnt umber. You can add uh, dark, raw umber dark. Play around. Mix some colors. Have some fun. Looks great. Hey, I have to tell you, Dr. John, we have, um, since it's fall, we have a whole new um, set of note cards and holiday cards coming out. We have a new calendar that we're working on right now, which is awesome. And we're even going to do some new tote bags. And I don't have them yet, but I will soon. So, is it time for Pearls of Wisdom? Well, no. First, what is the first show of the season that oh, we're doing? Oh, 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 yes. And, and I hope by the first show of the season we will have our new note cards and holiday cards. And that is um, Estate Coach Village, which is right here in Cave Creek. Uh, Candy Vermillion is the uh, promoter. She does a great job. And, and what's uh, the date again? It's... Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 10 to 5, and that's October 30th. Halloween, October 31st. And a full moon, by the way. And a full moon, and November 1st. So come up to Stagecoach Village to see us. Say hi, and uh, we'll have some new product. Maybe not the calendars, but we'll have a lot of other cool new things. Last but not least. Good job, Beth. Thank you. Good colors. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Some, there's some good variety there. There's a fall. Fall. It's here. Hopefully it'll get, get under colder. 90 degrees. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Our pearls of wisdom today are from Winston Churchill. By the way, what I've learned about Winston Churchill is not only was he a prime minister of Great Britain, but he was he was one of those guys that just fell down and got back up a million times. I mean, he didn't even do very well in school. And this quote from him is, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. And by the way, he loved to paint. All right. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Stay safe, be well. Come on vaccine. Bye-bye.